Hallelujah. Today is Friday 17 February and it will be a, a covenant night in our church by the grace of God. I will be having a father and God today and tomorrow. We we'll praying for ourselves, praying for Nigeria at such a time like this. That is a topic. So we want to invite two ministries, Pastor Ariola Day in Oju, the regional evangelist of Region 19 of the Eden Christian Church of God. So please come along. Come 8 p.m. today and tomorrow 6 p.m. The Lord bless you. Now, the topic for today we are about to share is knocking. Knocking. We are doing it for today and tomorrow. The topic is knocking. And our test is from Revelation 3.20. Let us pray. Father, we thank you because your intentions are clear. You are always looking for man, trying to ensure that man becomes what you have intended. We are praying today that Lord, please speak to our heart. In Jesus' name. Amen. So knocking and reading easy to read version, Revelation 3 20. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice, I pray you will today, in Jesus' name, and open the door, I will come in and eat with you, and you will eat with me. Friends, this is a beautiful piece. And um, it shows that God is intended on reaching out to man. You know, that's the difference between religion and the Christianity faith. Christianity faith is not really a religion. Well, of course, they call it, we call it religion, but it's not really the way of life. It's about a God trying to reach to you. While religion is people trying to reach to a God. That's the difference. He is the one at the door knocking and asking, giving you your will. If you open, I will come in. Now, he said, You will eat with me and I will eat with you. So it's a mutual relationship. You will do, I will do. You will do, I will do. Now, most of the time, a mutual relationship is also dependent on capacity. If my capacity is just 10 percent and I'm doing my 10 percent and your capacity is 90, you're doing a 90, it's mutual. Though, of course, different balancing, but it's still mutual. And that is what God intends to do. Now, in Ezekiel 22 30, he said, I am looking for a man. Look at the way he said, I said, I ask the people to change their lives and protect their country, like he's talking to us to protect Nigeria and not to take 10,000, 20,000 to vote for anybody, in spite of the challenges of scarcity of money you know, and fuel and everything that we are going through. He's saying, is not asking us to, change, to to continue our living there, but to change our country, to protect our country, change our lives. I ask people to fix the walls. I wanted them to stand by those holes in the wall and fight to protect their city. But no one came to help. I think that will not be our story in our nation, in our lives, in our family, that there will be someone to help someone to make a difference someone to be a blessing and you see that is what happened today all of us are saying Abraham blessing my mind but Abraham paid it right he opened his own door and he played his own role the angel of the Lord said in Genesis 22 he says hey, Abraham he said you have done this you don't even care I'm reading this to the version he said you were ready to kill your only son for me since you did this for me I will make you this promise I, the Lord, promised that. So, Abraham's action generated God's action. And today, God is saying, Abraham's blessings are mine. You have to think about that. So, he's knocking. Open the door. Let him eat with you. And you with him. God bless you.